It was cold and snowy on the island of Sodor, but everyone was jolly. The winter holidays were coming. Thomas loved this time of the year. The station masters decorated the stations. And children were making snowmen. But there was one thing Thomas didn't like about winter. There was always lots and lots of snow. It piled up very quickly and blocked the tracks, so Thomas worked hard all day keeping the lines open. Thanks to Thomas, everything ran on time. All the engines were very pleased. They wanted to thank Thomas for all his hard work. When all the tracks were clear, Thomas was looking forward to seeing his friends. He had missed them. As he puffed towards the station, he saw Harold the helicopter talking to Toby. They were planning a thank you surprise for Thomas. Hello, he chuffed. Remember, said Harold, don't tell Thomas about the surprise. Then Harold buzzed away, and Toby puffed back to his yard. Thomas felt left out. He liked surprises. That afternoon, Thomas was puffing along the main line. He saw Percy waiting in the station. Percy's trucks were loaded with brightly coloured boxes. Are they part of the surprise? Thomas asked. Percy was bursting to tell his friend about it, but he raced away so that he wouldn't spoil the surprise. Thomas was cross. Later, Thomas had to stop at a signal. As he waited, Emily arrived. Thomas noticed something strange on Emily's truck. It was long and pointy, but it was covered up. Is that part of the surprise? he asked. That, said Emily, is for me to know and you to find out. And she puffed away. Bother, wished Thomas. If they won't tell me, Thomas huffed, I'll find out myself. Thomas secretly followed Emily. He puffed as quietly as he could. And he didn't follow too closely. Suddenly, Emily turned down one of the branch lines. Thomas raced after her, but just as he got to the branch line, the signalman changed the points. Thomas had to go straight ahead. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. How will I ever find out what the surprise is? That evening, the engines were very excited. They were all talking about Thomas's surprise. I can't wait, chuffed Edward. He'll love it, puffed Percy. But then, Thomas arrived. said James. Don't tell Thomas, said Henry. Thomas felt more left out than ever. It wasn't fair. Everyone knew what the surprise was except Thomas. Humph! If they won't tell me, I don't want to know, he huffed. Thomas steamed crossly away. He puffed as far as he could. At last it was time to show Thomas the surprise. But no one knew where Thomas had gone. Please find him, Harold, Edward puffed. I'll do my best, said Harold, and he took to the air. Thomas was parked in a siding. He was cold and sad. 
Why was he the only one not to know what the surprise was? If only they would tell him. Then Thomas heard a noise. It was coming from the sky. It was Harold the helicopter. There you are, old chap, he called. It's time for you to collect the children and to see the surprise. The children, puffed Thomas. Yes, it's a special thank you for keeping the lines clear of snow. Thomas was delighted. Finally, he was going to find out what the surprise was. So I wasn't being left out, cried Thomas. Of course not, said Harold. The children are waiting for you at Wellsworth Station. Thomas loved pulling carriages full of children, so he raced away. Soon he arrived at Wellsworth Station. Thomas collected the children. He puffed through the snowy countryside. The children were very excited. They all wanted to know what the surprise was. Thomas turned down the branch line. Soon they arrived at a country village, and there was Thomas's surprise. A huge Christmas tree was standing in the village square. Its lights shone and its baubles twinkled. And at the bottom of the tree were lots of presents. There was even some tinsel for Thomas. It's the best surprise I've ever had, Thomas puffed happily. <laughs>